So again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard, and that is a 12 by 24 inch canvas. I have my glasses and I have some strange ideas that are going to start with black near the ends of my canvas, and not necessarily evenly. I think the less even, the better, or the more organic it'll wind up. Then I'm going to use black enamel, and let's just do a whole weird shape. I'm also going to use some pink enamel near this black because I can and I've grouped my colors into families like there's a whole bunch of whoop I could have sworn I shook that <laughs> reds this will be give me a chance to see if these are exactly alike they're not exactly alike wow they probably look exactly like to you though this is a magenta from golden And depending on how far along I get with this part of this process, I may swipe sooner than later. And I'm not going to worry too much about any background that's not showing. This is my Folk Art Purple Flash. I kind of think I need to fill in everything, but since I haven't done exactly this before, we'll be finding out together. Oh, I could have sworn I took the top off that. There's always one, <laughs> no matter how many bottles I clean out before I start, and I do do that. There's always one that's got to be a problem, child. And the threads haven't been cleaned. I cleaned those threads yesterday, I'm sure I did. Alright, let's take that one big piece of hanger out. Now, I like the turquoise, but I'm not sure how well it will mix with the red. And I like the green with the turquoise. especially if it comes out. All right, I'm just gonna shake some of that up and do a quick excavation. I guess I was not as proficient as I expected myself to be. One more. I'm gonna get my thumb back soon. If you've been watching me, you know I wounded my thumb. And one more push through there and I actually have what I need and a whole lot of threads that need to go away hey that's cool <laughs> so I'm doing this in batches of colors because that's the way I want the swipes to run I guess somebody started me on rainbow colors and that was that was it I was off and running I kind of figure if I group them into their similar families, then I will get one sort of result, and then I can move on from there at some other point in time. I think that leaves me blues over here, which might be a little dangerous. Blues and purples. That is the Venetian blue from Modern Masters. I don't think it matters which side I'm on. There will probably be leftover paint. I don't know that for sure yet, but I am going to put whatever paint I get off to a little saucer. Just going to wipe it off and then I'm going to dribble it on in the end, maybe, probably, potentially. I just made up some neon pink. I think I'd like some of that in there just because. And. I didn't use any Prussian blue the other day. Might put a little bit of white metallic from Anita's in there just because it pops cells. And I think it'll pop cells even better with that uh, Prussian blue, which can be almost any brand. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. There's more colors. <laughs> There's more colors. Oh, I'm going to try and use a little bit of my neon purple from Folk Art that's a multi-surface acrylic and then just a little more of this. You notice I'm not staying within any, in any boundaries. There aren't really any rules. Oh, come out. Okay, what's that? Like the fourth bottle I found? I am so not with it, I guess. 
but at least you're patient. Thank you for being patient. Oh, thank you guys for watching the videos longer. It really helps the placement I get on YouTube. What else do I want? I want more turquoise. Maybe some right there. I think I'm going to use the gold as a catalyst to get some of these bottles out of my way. I already have my black enamel in there. Now wherever, oh that's pink, <laughs> wherever I want to start swiping, I'm going to put some gold in. So why don't I just do that right there. Because I can. And then I'm going to do some here. Not sure how this is going to work out, but I'm willing to try anything right now. And that black enamel that went down the middle, that is the catalyst. And once I have some other paint in my little dish, I want to steal some black enamel right there, I think. Probably shouldn't be trying to fill that in, so let, I'll leave that alone. Let's see what we've got. This wasn't exactly my plan. But I want to find out what happens when I do this. It's kind of reminding me of some other things I've done in the past. That's kind of neat, but I like the idea that I can now choose a color that I want to go in an area. Like that. I want to, I sort of kind of want to be able to compose. So as I see how I like the colors, add them into the places I didn't before, which I really didn't realize I was going to do, but that's okay. It's the first time. Yeah, I am. I'm filling in. I really didn't mean to have any of the negative space, any of the matte canvas in the background. And I think I'm going to take my chances on having a little more black enamel right there most of my paint off of there. I don't know, I might not like it at all. But then I can always do more things to it, which is part of the plan. So every time I want to swipe and get cells somewhere, I'm going to put a little more black enamel down because that almost invariably makes new cells. And I'm going to keep moving. in that same direction. Just because I can, which is the name of my first book that you can find on the link tree. On the Amazon link on, underneath the link tree. I don't know why I did that. I just needed another mark. So I'm gonna do what I said I was gonna do again. I'm just surround that sort of composing by the seat of my pants. I like the gold. I didn't really get enough gold. And I never get enough of this purple flash. What else could I do? I could put chain in there. I really want to put a bunch more gold in there and see what happens if I do that. I've got this, or that, this is a 24 karat gold with a little bit of orange in it. And I like the, I like the sound of that, but I'm not sure I like the look of that. Where's my regular gold? Okay, so what do I want to do? I really didn't start with a ton of paint, which means I'm not having like super duper excesses. Yeah, a technical term. I'm getting closer. Still looks like a lot of other things I've done, but I like some of those things I did. Really tempted to, to put some chain in there just because I can, and maybe use a little bit more of the white metallic from Anita's. But every time I do that, I'm getting I get too a lot too close to wiping something out I like. 
But this is teaching me, you know, what makes the cells that I prefer. And there's some really neat stuff happening here, finally. I gotta keep scraping off my spatula or I will make mud. There, I don't mind that. I think I need more white than the white I have. And I like this. And nobody said I couldn't just put in lines, you know? Pull things through the skewer. Why not? I can do that if I want to. I still haven't used up my paint in my container. Well, that wasn't expected, but I think it's going to stay. The same with a few other things that might go in now. Because they can. I should tell you guys whatever else I'm going to tell you, too, because it's probably getting on for time. I've still got five minutes left. That's cool. I was thinking if I went slower, the orange would come out a little, <laughs> a little more uh, consistently, but that's not the case. So I'm just sort of following the shapes that I started with. Look at a nice breeze. Oh, I need to show you guys. My girlfriend gave me this. Whoop, I lost the cap to it. A bottle, a Victorian bottle, but I've been using plastic bottles too, freezing water and tucking them into, um, <laughs> well, you can use your imagination. Tucking them into places where they will keep me cool. So, since I've already done that, I like that. I still want to put chain in there. I'm not sure if that's cool or not. I'm going to do it. I'm going to try and be subtle, if that's even possible. Just a single pull. Let's see what happens. Go down there. I like that. That's pretty cool. Being ever so delicate. This is not all about the chain. This is definitely about the colors, and the colors are pretty cool. Whoops. <laughs> Swing and chain. Well, I picked that up over here. I'm trying to be a little careful. I'm just melding the, the lines that I put in there. And I don't need to make wide patterns to have the chain become add interest. So I'm getting really close to thinking I might want a torch. That last little piece of orange there is not making me super happy. I'm just going to feather that in, and I've got these. I'll lay that chain down. Just going to drag it around. That's cool. I wasn't sure I was going to like that for a minute. So the leftover stuff on the chain is you, is mostly iridescent paint. So it kind of adds a little something different. To where I drag it. I'm really not over dragging. I think I'm just about done. I know you've heard me say that before and you probably have good reason not to believe me. But you might want to believe me this time. We shall see. Oh, the breeze caught my chain. Darn. Well, I guess that means we're going to have one 
little round spiral. That's okay, that adds some interest. Oh, that is a strong breeze too, which is actually not hurting my feelings right now. I'm just sort of following my instincts and hoping that I don't overdo. Oh, I have a little piece of plastic stuck in there. Alright, so that's just neat. That reminds me of stuff I used to do when I was a kid and I liked it a lot. And uh, I don't think I need to fix that in any way, shape, or form other than maybe a few dots. Can I get those dots to come out? Maybe a few dots because I've already got a couple dots. And they sort of match up with the cells. Yeah, I like that. I think I want some turquoise. So I should tell you guys I do sell my artwork. And I give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. The link tree below the video contains Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for students, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery totes and more for those of you who might want to check out what I've been putting on Fine Art America or Pixels.com since about 2013. I only have that one little bit of white. I'm nervous about adding a whole bunch more, but I guess as long as your eye moves around inside, we'll just go easy. Where, where will we go easy? Very easy. Ha! <laughs> Gold is the same thing. I don't. I don't want to like. I don't want to um. Super distract the eye from. Every Wait a minute. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna look at my actual list. If you guys watch the videos longer, I think I mentioned it helps me out, and I appreciate that. If you share my videos, it helps me out, and I appreciate that. So I'm gonna put a couple spirals in there that I wasn't planning on putting in. Because I can. Hey, the uh, next next to because I can the book on the Amazon link where you can shop at no matter what it costs to you, and it really helps me out eventually, and I appreciate it very much. And thank you very much for doing so. You can find the other book is called Unlimited Possibilities, and that's a cool book too. Um, I just want to do some stuff, but I'm not sure what I want to do, and I think I'm mostly done, and I don't want to go. <laughs> I don't want to ruin it. I just want to do another one actually. I'm gonna throw my spatula in the bucket. That'll help. I said I wanted some turquoise, so I don't. I almost let the card fly right into the painting. That was that would have been really bad. So I think I'm going to just give myself a tiny, tiny bit, like none at all, <laughs> a tiny, tiny bit of the turquoise. And if I like it, I'll give myself some more, and you guys will be gone before you know it. And uh, so this is. Me saying, you guys take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And uh, I will see you anon. And you see there is something in my painting that I do not want there. I do not know how to get it out. Okay, maybe I got it. All right, I love you guys very much. Check the end screens on any video for the exhibition video that will show you what the monthly prizes are. To be in the monthly drawing, all that's required is that you use PayPal or Patreon, and when you do so, I will send you a receipt. Yeah, I like that. Now it makes me want to have some gold. I'm not sure what this is going to look like when you guys come back. Because once I start dotting, sort of all bets are off. I just don't want a ton of them. I want a few. Just here and there. So whatever I'm not telling you, <laughs> you'll see in another video because there's over 1,450 videos. I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. Please give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for the wonderful comments and thank you so much for contributing to help keep me painting all this time. I really, really appreciate that very much. Even if I said it once, I'll say it again. Thank you very much. Uh, playlists. All those videos are organized in, by the hundred and by genre. And uh, if you want to subscribe, that'd be great. And if you are subscribed, welcome and thank you. And I'm sure there's other stuff that I have forgotten to tell you. And 
check your notifications. The Facebook groups I told you about, Teespring Clothing is underneath